This site has a quite unique context in Northcote. This parkland at the back used to be a brick quarry and then it became a tip and now it's beautiful parkland with lovely walking trail through it and these really beautiful established trees. For this site backing onto that, it's this great opportunity to connect with this beautiful natural environment out there. The existing house was a Californian bungalow double fronted house that they didn't have to keep, it's not heritage. As a group, the clients and us made a decision to keep it because environmentally it just feel wrong to send it all to landfill when it's got really well proportioned rooms that can be used as bedrooms or living rooms in the front half. And what was there had been done not that long ago, but it really didn't connect with the environment as well as you'd like. It had low ceilings and a really deep veranda which was disconnected you from the opportunities that you could get to connect with these lovely trees out the back. So we got rid of that and really rethought how we could have a better living to the back that would connect you with the environment. Our clients are a family of five with three primary school age children and they're real outdoorsy people that really love camping and bike riding and we really wanted this house to embody their affinity for nature and the natural environment, spending time in the outdoors. Their brief was to have a bigger house that would allow them to grow as the kids got older, allow them to be able to come together, but also seek their own space. They also wanted the ability to be able to work from home, which we designed this a few years ago now, pre-COVID, who would know how important that would be now. The core idea within this house is embodying the client's affinity for the natural environment, whether that be through beautiful natural materials, the lovely timbers that we've got here, the natural light and the awareness of the elements that that increases. These all are elements of this biophilic design. Biophilia literally means the love of life and the way that manifests in architecture for us is designing buildings that nurture a love of nature and connect you with the natural environment. And then there's a lot of other strategies that we use that can really then accentuate your relationship with the environment. The prospect and refuge. The prospect being this amazing view out there. The refuge being the cosy space that you can retreat to from which you can then see that vantage point from a feeling of seclusion. So the layout of the house, we kept the front three rooms, the three bedrooms and the bathroom and made a few changes to them. From there back, there's a really great big family-sized laundry with access from a really great bike shed. From there back, we've got the open plan, kitchen, meals, living area, which has this great study nook connected to it. Above the living space is this two-storey void, and that's really important on a lot of levels. It's bringing in the natural light. It's giving you those views up to the trees, but it's also connecting you between the levels. And so upstairs, we've got the main bedroom and then a second living room and a separate bathroom as well. It's flexible, it's not a dedicated master bedroom with an ensuite. These rooms are opposite each other and there's a shared bathroom so it can evolve as the family's needs evolve. There's these doors from both of those rooms onto the void space so you can open them up and have the balustrade but you're still really connected between upstairs and downstairs. In terms of materials, there's obviously a lot of timber in this house. Timber floor, the timber ceiling and a lot of the wall. It's all local Victorian hardwoods, combination of Vic ash, silver top ash. It's really about reinforcing that connection with nature using natural materials and then when the natural light hits them, it really glows, this beautiful warmth that really feels connected with this place. It feels really tranquil and cosy and that's really important for us when we do have such light, bright houses to not feel too vivid all the time, to feel still quite calm and moody. And that's one of the things that comes across in this house, I think, is this contrasting sense of tranquil calmness while also being actually quite energising by things like these double height voids and these connections between spaces. The majority of the house is timber externally as well which we thought was a nice way to tie it in with that relationship with the back. It's in contrast to the front of the house. The form of the house is similar at the back to is the front. The pitched roof at the back mirror is that of the front. And the timber slats externally, they're radially sawn timbers and they have this beveled profile to them. 
Structurally, most of the house doesn't use concrete. The subfloor is all timber. There's some concrete stumps, but apart from that and the couple of bench tops, the majority of it is lightweight, which is an intentional thing to you know, touch the earth lightly and move away from using energy intensive materials like concrete. Sustainable design is a really strong consideration in all of our houses, particularly in this one. It's low embodied energy materials as much as possible, retaining the front half of the house and maintaining the embodied energy, that, using the lightweight materials in deference to using concrete. The passive solar design is really important, bringing in the north light from the side to help passively warm the building in winter and using external shading to help keep it cool in summer. So those slats, they're a really important part of controlling the summer sun. But then of course, with this fantastic view to the west and so much glass facing west, we'd have to make sure it doesn't cook in summer. And so we've got a lot of external blinds, the big eaves wrapped down to help control the sun, but then we've also got a folding arm awning and some external Venetian blinds on the western facade. The clients made the great decision to go off gas altogether and use all electric appliances for even the hydronic heating. It's all, all fully electric and then there's a lot of solar panels so you're producing as much as you can. Designing houses that connect the occupants with the environment are really important for us because there's so many opportunities in the way we currently live to be disconnected. So whether that be in the buildings that we occupy, in our workplace or our homes, to shut things down and have a controlled internal environment. It can be all so detached from the real external world. So we're trying to create opportunities for people to, to reconnect and, and be connected. And in so doing, be more in touch with nature. And I think that makes for a more enjoyable and a more healthy life for them and a lower impact on their environment. Yeah, we can give it a go, but it probably won't. It's just still, isn't it? Yeah. Like not even the trees are um catching something, isn't it? Yeah, but it's oh well. <laughs>